Hey everyone, we're back with another week of Takeout Church Bug Edition. Today we get to learn about an insect called the stick bug. Let's take a look at this video that demonstrates the thoughts of a stick bug. PT, what's the point? Not now, Slim. What's the point of going out there? They'll only laugh at me. That's because you're a clown! No, it's because I'm a prop. You always cast me as the broom, the pole, the stick, a splinter. You're a walking stick! It's funny! Now go! You parasite. Tra la 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 la, springs in the air, and I'm a flower with nothing interesting to say. Oh! A bee! I am a cute little bumblebee! Ah! Here I come! Ah! Ah! Ready to do the Robin Hood act. Oh, I want to be Little John. What part can I play? My sword! Swish, swish, clang, clang. Boys, us! Quick, after them! Ah, swim! Francis! Francis, Francis, I'm stuck! Where are you? I'm over here! Where? Here! I'm the only stick with eyeballs! Sometimes it seems like Slim didn't like being a stick bug. It's not easy being a stick bug, always blending in with ordinary things. He would often get overlooked. Have you ever felt overlooked before? Today we're going to learn, a, learn about a story about a boy who was overlooked. God sent Samuel to the home of a man named Jesse to anoint a new king. Jesse gathered all of his sons, except for his youngest, David, because he was small. Have you ever been overlooked because you were little? Watch and see what happens next. The man whom God had chosen to rule as king over Israel had disobeyed God's commandments, which displeased the Lord. God had rejected Saul as king, and he had found someone else to fill the role. God spoke to his prophet Samuel and told him to go to Jesse of Bethlehem because God had chosen one of his sons to be the next king. But Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. The Lord said, Take a cow with you, and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse and his sons to the sacrifice, and I will show you which of his sons to anoint as the new king. Samuel set out for Bethlehem, and when he arrived there, the town's elders met him. Fearful of the reason for Samuel's visit, they asked him, do you come in peace? Samuel replied, Yes, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he dedicated Jesse and his sons to the Lord and invited them to the sacrifice. When they arrived, Samuel saw Jesse's son Eliab and thought, Surely this is the man the Lord sent me to anoint as the king. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance. I do not look at people based on outward appearance. I look at the heart. Jesse called seven of his sons to pass in front of Samuel, and each time Samuel said that this was not the son God had chosen. Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all of your sons? Jesse replied that his youngest son was out tending the sheep. Samuel said, Send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. Jesse sent for his youngest son, David, and had him brought before Samuel. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then left and went to Ramah. When Samuel looked at all of Jesse's sons, he was looking at the outward appearance. In 1 Samuel, it tells us that the man looks on the outside, but God looks at our hearts. A man may only see a stick when he comes to see a stick bug, but God knows that the stick bug is actually a bug that has been created perfectly by God. God made them to blend in with the surroundings to keep them safe from their predators. Maybe sometimes you feel a little ordinary and overlooked, but remember that God looks at your heart, not how you look on the outside. 
The God who created the entire universe knows every detail of your life. God knows you and loves you because he made you. To help us remember that God knows us, we're making walking trails mix with our little stick bugs. <laughs> in each bag of trail mix that you found in your take home bag church, we're gonna add a few of these pretzels or stick bugs as we can remember them as. The walking stick bugs think that they're hidden within these trail mix. But God knows that they're there because God knows everything. God knows us too and we can never hide from God because he sees us just like we can see these stick bugs in our trail mix. Stick bugs can feel like they aren't important because people don't notice them. However, no matter what you look like, God will notice you. To remind us of this, try designing a disguise and head over to Facebook and comment your photo on the post of Kim and I dressed up in our disguises. See you later.